Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today, I want to challenge you to prove your believing. And I'm going to read to you from Second Chronicles in chapter 20, from verses 20 and 21. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat, that's the king of Judah, stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. And when they had consulted with the people, the one who believed, they appointed singer unto the Lord, unto the Lord, and they, that they should praise the beauty of holiness. And as they went on before the army to praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. And when they began to sing praises, the Lord set ambushment, verse 22, against their enemy. And the battle was over. Believing is not a gift, it's a response to the word of God, which you either heard or saw. You see, believing is a response to what you saw or what you heard of the word of God. Any other thing is not Bible kind of believing. Of course, there are diverse kind of believing, but the faith kind of believing is response to the word which you heard or which you saw. You see, either you respond back in word, in action, or in non-action. That is believing. For example, believing the gospel of salvation will make you to confess with your mouth. Just like Romans chapter 10 verse 10 says, for with art, man believes unto righteousness, and with man confession is made unto salvation. So, believing is a response. The heart responded and gave vocal utterances to the mouth to say that which has been believed. In like manner, the, the word of salvation in the present danger of extermination produced believing in the act of Jehoshaphat and men of Judah. They were against three kings that were ready to terminate them. It was a matter of life and death. I don't know who I'm speaking with who is facing a matter of life and death. I want you to believe. And when I say believe, I'm saying respond to the word of God. God said to them earlier on, he said the battle is mine. And when God said that to them, they responded back to God with believing. So, God said this battle was a battle of the spirits. The flesh don't fight in it. It's a battle of darkness against light. Whatsoever someone is going through now, I've come to tell you friend, it's a battle of the spirit. It's light against darkness. is good against evil. Flesh don't fight this kind of faith, of battle. Leave it to me, says God of all flesh to Jehoshaphat. It makes no difference after what the size and the number of the flesh you are battling with now. It makes no difference the size and the number of what he gathered against you and what weapon they've gathered with. God said I've got your back. Simply prove your believing. So the enemy was still there, but Judah and Jehoshaphat focused on the beauty of holiness. That's what the Bible said. They were praising the beauty of holiness and sang the praise thereof. And faith moved the mountain. The least you can do is for you to keep praising God based on knowledge of the fact that he has promised that he will get your back. If you will keep praising him in the face of the storm and the challenges, I promise you the tide will soon turn to your advantage because the battle is mine, says the Lord. But you need to prove that you believe. Jehoshaphat proved it. He took his eye off the battle and they started pressing the beauty of holiness. The beauty of holiness you don't see, you don't pray. So they saw it. The believing is refocusing on him who is bigger than what you are going through. I pray for you today that the challenge you are going through we, we give way. The mountain we yield. The power of God is going to come through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the power of the enemy be broken. I cause the sickness. I cause the rot and the anger of the wicked that has risen up against you. The arrow they are shooting at you, I command to turn back and destroy them till they have no root or shoot against to show for it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that growth in your body to wither. I command that tumor to disappear. I command that bleeding to cease. I command that withered part of your body to receive life now. In the name of Jesus, I speak life into your semen. I speak life to your ovum. I speak life to your fallopian tube, to your uterus. In the name of Jesus, I cause that prostrate growth. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that ovarian cyst. I curse it. I command it to dry up now. In Jesus mighty name. My word for you today again is this. Prove your believing. And on the 25th of this month, November 2016 will be Wonders Night and the theme is the King of Kings. I look forward to seeing you there. 312 to 314 London Road, Run for RM79NH. I see you then. The Lord bless you.